Here's what's interesting. This is why I have to salute my friends from the UPU. They did a fantastic job. What, what uh, Bashir did uh, was convene um, a group of, I think, about 30-something countries on Sunday and Monday of this week, including uh, my good friend here, Ambassador Shea, who was in every single meeting, every single minute. And uh, the beauty of that, pro the, the goal of that process was, get to, was to get to what we got to today. But we didn't get to that. Okay? We almost got to that. But, but what the process was able to do through um, Bashir's leadership uh, and the participation of folks like Ambassador Shea was to identify what we disagreed on and what the boundaries of that were. Right? And, and that was the beauty of that process. And so once you knew um, what you agreed on, what you disagreed on, and what the range of disagreement was, then you could be within the box of consensus. And so through the efforts um, of uh, the UPU leadership working with many of the countries that had to come into that majority coalition, um, they arrived at the result today. And if you notice what happened today, this this um, session was supposed to start at 9 a.m., right? But no, 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 no. They wanted more time to, to work to this. There were technical issues with writing the actual documents, which they did beautifully. There were the politics of talking to the competing parties and, and, and bringing them on board. And I think, I think that, uh, that the realization is that uh, in a large organization such as this or in a large organization such as my Congress, it's very difficult to do a trade uh, agreement, which is effectively what this is, uh, by uh, many, many amendments. You're better off if you can. We have in our, our Congress what's called fast track legislation. It's like comes, you vote it up or down. We want our Congress, by the way, to do that with the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement tomorrow, but, or at least within 30 days. But in this case, the brilliance of, of uh, the leadership here was, okay, uh, here we are. We're in the box. This is what we think the market can bear. From a technical and political standpoint, they worked it, so by the time 3 o'clock rolled around the room, um, they had disseminated the appropriate information and gotten buy-in from people. And I stress, look, this was not preordained. This was hard work. These, these gentlemen and our people uh, and many other people were up till 3 in the morning last night and, and up at 7 this morning and they did it. So I think it's useful to understand how that worked. I mean, this was, this was a beautiful thing. This is, this is how processes should work when they when they work well and they, we were sufficiently close and uh, the fact that the US was going to leave the UPU um, I think play this that, uh, President Trump was was in the room 